Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Thank you guys for coming here to watch this video. If you're new, be sure to subscribe. We're trying to get to 5,000 subscribers in the next couple of months. So when you subscribe, it does help us out. Today I'm going to be making a custom onesie. I'm going to take you guys along as I make that project. I have made one other onesie. I'm going to show you guys that in a minute. This is my first onesie for a customer. So the measurements that I went with on a onesie was four and a half inches wide and then six inches long. So hopefully that is a good size for a onesie. And I just now cut the vinyl. Let me show you guys. It was actually four and a half inches by a little over six inches. So hopefully that was a perfect size. This is 100% done. Here it is over here, all cut. You guys probably can't see it that well. It's all done cutting. And now I'm going to check and see how I did. The reason why I could not see it is because it actually did not cut the vinyl. I did forget that glitter vinyl is a little thicker, so I probably have to change the dial on the Cricut to something more sturdy, like maybe cardstock. I did have it on regular vinyl cutting, and it did not cut all the way through that clear plastic. So I'm gonna try this again. Here's my dial right here. We have vinyl, iron-on, light cardstock, and paper. You can do a custom setting, but I think I am just gonna go ahead and go with cardstock maybe. Hopefully that'll be enough to cut through this glitter vinyl. Start. Cut. And I forgot to tell you, if you're using only part of your vinyl, to go ahead and cut out that piece that you did cut so that you can save as much vinyl as possible and not waste it. So I'll be able to use the rest of this vinyl for the next cut. I don't think I told you guys at the beginning of the video that you do want your glittery side down on the mat when you go to cut. Now I'm gonna go ahead and weed out all these pieces that are inside of the letters. And I think it did come out pretty good. I did have lotion on my hands and it was sticking to the vinyl. I wasn't thinking before, but it will still be fine. You're just gonna be pressing the vinyl glitter on so it won't even show. And I actually don't have the onesie here with me. So right now I'm just going ahead and cutting out all the vinyl. Then we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby, grab a onesie, or we might go to Walmart and just buy a pack of four. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the black vinyl. So guys, um, I messed up badly and that is because this is regular HTV. It is not glitter vinyl and I forgot to take it off of cardstock. So yes, as you can see, it cut all the way through the vinyl. My vinyl is actually stuck to the board. It cut through both layers and restart. All right guys, I think I got it finally. And now it's time to read the black vinyl. So guys, we're coming out to get the onesie and Starbucks is closed. The Starbucks that we normally go to is actually closed as you guys saw, but we go into Target and get us some Starbucks anyway. I got my Starbucks. The onesies were on sale, they were 50% off. So I did get these for $2.99, so it was really nice. They're actually thicker than the packs of onesies that you can get from Walmart, so I did like that. I'm going to pre-press this for a few seconds just to get it nice and flat and straight. 
And I'm gonna press this one more time and I'm gonna press it in half so I can get the crease in the middle and have the center. All right, and I have my center crease right here. And then I have the crease in the vinyl that I made. I'm gonna go ahead and press this for about five seconds and then add the other pieces. So I just had to make sure that the vinyl was not layered anywhere. So make sure that there was no plastic under the black font or the black vinyl. I'm gonna make sure it was separated evenly between each line so that there wasn't any gaps in here. And I think it looks pretty nice. I'm gonna go ahead and press that and it'll be all done. I did go ahead and put this transfer sheet back over everything just to make sure that it didn't stick to anything. I know you don't really have to do that. You can just use Teflon, which I still use my Teflon, but I always have to be extra careful just because I get super worried. So that is why I went ahead and put this back over it. And this is a hot peel vinyl. I'm going to go ahead and press this all one more time for five seconds. I really love how it turned out. Let me know down in the comments if you guys like it or if you guys love it. So this is actually for a customer. I do have to make her shirt. She's wanting a shirt for her husband that says, I survived my husband's bachelor's degree. So I do have to go ahead and make her shirt. I'm gonna press this one more time with just a Teflon sheet for about five seconds. I'm so happy how this turned out. This was my second onesie to make. Um, my first one, I will show you guys my first one. My first onesie right here, as you can tell, everything was a little off. I actually designed this myself, except for the unicorn. I actually bought that unicorn SVG but I did put the one and the Selena on there. And as you can see, the one is a little bit too big. I didn't like how that came out. And I only slanted Selena's name to cover in that blank spot. But that was my first onesie. And then this is how today's onesie came out. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and make her shirt then get ready to take these over to her. And that is the end of today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe, hit the bell, and see you guys in the next one. Bye.